it's Anne from the Uses Crafter. So today I wanted to show you how to do um, these acrylic keychains. They are so cute. So they're on Amazon. Um, they are on my Amazon shop. It's um, so you go to www.amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter and um, these acrylic blanks are such a good steal so it's two and a half inches and it comes with the keychain so like the little um, hardware that you know to, to use the chain and then also has these cute little tassels too so what I wanted to do was I wanted to use these as um, also gift tags for Christmas. So I'll have the little girl's name on for my daughter's friends. Um, so I'll have their name on here. I'm gonna paint the back, do um, adhesive vinyl on the front. So it's gonna give it a little bit of dimension too because the paint and then the layering um, separated by you know the acrylic blank. And then um, use it as a gift tag. So they'll have both the keychain and a cute little gift tag. You don't even need to put who it's from because they'll remember as soon as they see it that you gave it to them. And two weeks later when they're opening it, they'll still remember it. it's your gift. So I think it's super, super cute. So I wanted to show you how to do it here in Design Space. So the first thing that I always do is I like to um, create my template. So my template is two and a half inches. So I'm gonna do two and a half. So here is my circle and let me zoom in so that it's a little bit bigger and i always like to make my blank a lighter color just so that i can see that it's there but then my fonts and everything else it's um, i can do it in color okay so i'm gonna do the first name okay so here's i'm gonna click on text and then pick my font so i have some favorite fonts that i'm using right now uh, one is southmore and it is from Creative Fabrica. I love it. It cuts well, it weeds well. So my first name is going to be Riley, okay? So I want to show you what it looks like. This is one of my pet peeves in design space because because it comes out like this, some people think that that's the way it should look, but that's not the way the designer um had in mind because if you use this in any other software like silhouette um inkscape font lab pad um the letters are connected so there's a couple ways that you can do it um i see that a lot of people like to reduce the line space so you go up here and you start reducing it so you see the letters are getting closer and closer to each other but at some point, this doesn't work for you because if you look, the letters aren't evenly sp spaced, right? So between the R and the I, it's getting really close, right? But look at the space between the E and the Y. So you can't decrease this and it's gonna work for you. So what I like to do is one, I don't like to do it in design space, but if I was only doing one word or one name, then I will ungroup it and I will manually move this over. So here I'm connecting the R to the I, right? And I like the bounce lettering look. So a little up, a little down. Um, so in this case, you have the big R and the L is so long that you have space to kind of move this around. But I don't want this Y to go so low because I don't want to make this, I don't want to take up so much space Whenever I'm doing the names, especially with just two and a half inches, I want to make the name as big as I can. And knowing that, I don't want the height to be, um, like, I don't want the L, for instance, to be up here. And then the Y to be, hold on, sorry. The Y to be all the way down here. Because now the height of this name is 1.6 inches when really... I could, I could get so much more if I could move this down, move this E down a little bit. And now, uh, I don't want it so straight though. But now, this is 1.3. So instead of, I think it was 1.6, now I still have room to make this, you know, bigger. Um, actually, I don't. <laughs> but because it's already two and a half inches across. We could make it a little bit, um, save a little bit of space. If I move the I closer to the R, right? We can, we can condense this a little bit. Let me zoom in so that we can see. 
what we have here. We don't want this because the little um, stick from the R is popping out, so we don't want that. So let's do that. Let's see if we can move the L over anymore. Because you want to make the name, uh, you know, the bigger the name, the easier it is to, um, to work with, right? The cutting is going to be better. You don't have small, delicate spaces. Um, the weeding is going to be easier as well as applying it. So here we go. And at this point with this name, every little space and inch counts. So here we have the name. I'm going to change the name to a different color just so that you can see something. I do want to make a point. I'm going to make it a really light color so that you can see it. Um, let's put this R to the front. Okay, so this is a really good example. Um, so once you move it close to each other, though, that doesn't mean that it's fixed. Because right now we haven't welded the letters together. So each letter is its own individual piece. And let me change the L so that you can see this as well. This is not me manipulating the file to send it to the front so that you can see it. When you cut this, you will see it like this. Each letter is going to cut um, into the other letter. So this R is going to cut in through here. It's all going to be spaced. I mean, they're all going to be connected, but you're going to have individual letters cut out. We don't want this. Um, here, let me show you what the E looks like too. It looks horrible. Um, let me see into the back. All right. So you see each letter is going to cut into the other letter. What you want is you want to grab all of these letters and click on weld and then it becomes one uh, nice piece. Now, if you notice this little thing closed up and it's just because it's too close to each other. So undo this for a second. There is a workaround for this. So that whole little piece just closed up, right? So what you want to do is you want to grab all the letters and change the width right now it's five inches right change it to something big 20 inches okay and let's zoom out for a second so you can see this so now with it being so big and you weld it it works right so now it's one piece obviously don't keep it this big now you make it smaller then you're fine because what the other workaround is to space it out more. The reason why it's happening is because the letters are so close together. And we knew that. I was trying to do that so that I can make this name as big as possible. So I made it a lot closer than it was intended to be. Um, but that's the workaround. So you have two options. You either make it really big like I just did and then weld it and then resize it to the size that you want. Or you can move the letters further apart. But if I move the letters further apart, my, my name is gonna be so small on this acrylic blank. So I didn't wanna do that. Um, and plus, you wanna, you wanna be able to space it the way you want to. So I feel like the only real solution is to make it really big, weld it, and then resize it to what you need. All right, so here we go. I know this is a lot of work, right, to make design space work for you. So here is my acrylic blank at the right size. So I need to make this fit in here. So I'm gonna make this as big as I can so that it's easy for me to work with. So technically I know that fits because it's 2.4 by 1.4 and we know that our acrylic blank is two and a half. So there is a little bit of space, but you don't wanna go all the way to the edge because what happens is then it peels off more easily because it's all the way at the edges. So, all right, so here's my first name. I wanna pop into Silhouette's um, a software for a second. Now I am nowhere near um, at the level that I should be. Actually, I'm basically a beginner. <laughs> but I wanted to show you this because it's so cool. First of all, I do have the business edition. You want the business edition because you wanna be able to if you don't use it for cutting or if you want to make sure that it's compatible with design space, you want to be able to get your files out of uh, the Silhouette Studio and change it into an SVG file. The only way you can do that is if you pay for the business edition. It is a one-time fee. 
and I want to say it's a hundred dollars but you can get a discount let me show you how to get that discount if you don't already have it so what you want to do is you want to go to the silhouette um, web page so it's silhouetteamerica.com scroll all the way to the bottom and what you want is you want under programs you want silhouette handmade they have a program for anyone who makes things um, and if you so you make handmade products um, or you market you have a company then you can sign up so I signed up for this I showed them my website and all the things that I do and they approved me and basically you get 20% off so for my cameo or no I'm sorry my I guess it is a cameo the cameo the new one that came out the pro 24 inch one it's $500 it automatically when I logged in to buy things it automatically gave me the 20% off both on my business edition software and my machine so my machine was 500 and it was discounted to $400 so you should have this anyway if you're thinking about buying it you should just have the discount ready for when you finally do because when you want to go buy it I don't want to wait for the approval process right I'm always like I need instant gratification so you should apply for this anyway in case you ever want to buy something you'll get your 20% off okay let's go into their software for a second okay so it's somewhat similar but so many more options okay I want to show you a few things so click on the text right here's Southmore and I want to do uh, Riley so I'll do Riley again so you can see it so in here you can see where they do the names um, they connected it already all you need to do is click on the arrow click on here and you want to weld it so here's the name so now it's welded right I'm gonna make this bigger so that you can see it what's cool is you have so many different ways of warping the text right so if you remember in design space let me go back to here. If I had wanted to weld it to a circle, first of all, you can't ungroup it and move things. It has to be the original text. So let me show you what I mean by that. So here's Riley, right? I need to keep it like this in order to curve my text, right? So there's that, but the name is not connected. It doesn't help. This one is already a modified, um, a modified image I guess I want to call it that so it's not considered text I don't have my curve option anymore but let's go and look at silhouette for a second over here look at all the different ways not only can I curve it I can make it like this I could change it to this I mean there's so many more options but what is the really cool thing is I don't need it for this project but I'm going to show you anyway I'm going to go to object or I'm sorry not object panels I'm going to go to offset I mean look how cool this is here's my offset and look in a button I can make my offset look at it got bigger um, I can do an internal offset which in this case it cuts inside right which would be great for our 3d block letters um, anything like that anyway I just wanted to show you that I'm gonna cancel out of this okay so here's the name Riley um, it already connects for you and then all you do is you save it as an SVG file and then you go and you upload it into design space so if that's what you wanted to do I mean that's so much better if you know I'm gonna be doing 20 acrylic blanks there's no way that I want to do it the way I did it over here one letter at a time and spacing it okay all right that's all I wanted to show you was how to use a template how to create that template make it I'm actually going to make a ton of these and I will show you the video on how to apply the adhesive vinyl and make it super, um, uh, super perfect. <laughs> so with cursive, you don't need to make it straight, right? Especially when you do the bounce lettering. So this can go any way and it would look right, right? I mean, first of all, it's a circle. So, I mean, you're going to have the little, um, keychain holder up here. So you, there will be an up and a down but you can make it you know slanted like this try to make it straight across but even straight across it's bouncy so I really like that because it doesn't need to be perfect but I will show you how to apply it so that there's no bubbles to your acrylic um, so that will be the next video on how to assemble it all right 
Thank you. I just wanted to show you the difference and how to do, um, how to work with cursive letters, which, or a cursive font, because I see that um, question asked all the time in my Facebook groups. So give me your comments uh, here. Let me know what you think, if you have any questions, and I will see you next time. Um, and also, if you have a special request, please post it here or on Instagram, Facebook. And then if you need to send me additional details, my email is anne, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. Bye, guys.